welcome to Seashorn Vlog, and it's our first full day in Singapore. It is? Yeah, <laughs> delayed reaction there. <laughs> I'm half asleep still. <laughs> yeah, jet lag is there. Uh, no, we need to sort that out over the next couple of days. Uh, we are spending the day on Sentosa Island. We're staying at the Village Hotel. We've jumped on the Sentosa Express monorail and we've come down to the beach station because we need some food to start yeah, the day. I really wanted to go monorail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's the little bus. We'll be getting that at some point. I'll show you the bus in a second. But we've got lots to explore in Sentosa. We're going to do wandering around the island, check out the beaches. There's Madame Tussauds. Uh, there's a few other things as well. We might even go on the cable car. So if you want to see what Sentosa Island's like, come along. As you come in, there's the menu. A few choices here. Let's see what we get. Nasi Lemak, or do we save that for when we get to Malaysia? Hyannese chicken. Mm. Anything jumping out at you? Roti chennai. I had roti yesterday. I'm trying to read with no glasses on here. There's a vegetarian set in the biryani department. Biryani department in the biryani list. In the noodles list, there's a vegetarian fried rice again with um, soy. I think soy crisps or something, or plant-based vegetarian noodles. I didn't check the other ones out. I went for the vegetarian noodles. With some crispy fish skin, maybe, I'm guessing? Soy. Soy, tofu. Soy skin. I have went for a Fanta, and I hope it's the good Fanta, but we'll find out. First attempt at sambal, and I went for the Indian biryani tally set, which looks pretty good, like. Have a try of your veggie mints. No flavour. You need to add the chilli sauce then, don't you? Get them noodles in. I've got, like, a vinegary sauce on them. Yeah, you need chilli sauce. Right, let's try the sambal. That's quite mild. It's a, it's a mild yeah. sambal. Is it fishy? This heat, this heat, not fishy at all. It's like a less sweet sriracha. Okay. This particular one. Right, let's try all this. I'll put the prices on the screen. Cucumber. Right, let's try a bit of the rice and the chicken yeah that's that's got a nice amount of spice to it loads of flavor so that was pickled veg pickled veg and yeah. you try the is it like a rica Quite a sour rider. Um, you use a spoon and a fork here, no knives, just to pull the chicken off. Let's have a bit of sambal. Sambal on. I think this is a good good choice. It could do with being a little bit hotter. It's not so hot. But, not spicy but hot, but warm Temperature hot. hot. But the flavour is really, really good. So we're going to eat these and then we'll go and find our first activity. Our first activity on Sentosa Island is to do the cable car up to Faber Peak and all the way back. We have the Ghost City Pass, which we bought a few months back, and this is one of the activities that you can do there. I'll pop on for any time we use the Ghost City Pass. I'll put on the, the price that you would pay, which for this is $35 return journey. Um, and then I'll, we'll, we'll add it all up at the end and see if the Ghost City Pass was worthwhile. <laughs> yeah, we don't like these very much, no, do we? No, but we're giving it a try. No, 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 no. Don't look down. At least we're not on the glass one, eh? Yep. You can get the glass ones of these, but we're heading all the way up there. Oh, it's nerve-wracking, Caroline. 
Still yeah. not going to be as high as the one we did in Vancouver. Yeah, but at least the one in Vancouver, the cloud cover, I couldn't see anything, so it made it a little bit better. Yeah. But this I can see everything, and I'm, I can, oh, look over there, Sean. You're just going to close your eyes. I'm, I can't look, I can't look down. Look over there, I'm trying to look at the horizon. <laughs> Skyline Luge looks a lot of fun, but it's not something for Caroline, so we're not doing that because it takes quite a bit of time. But it does look a lot of fun, and if you get a chance, I'd probably recommend it. It's like a there's, strange go kart thing. There's like treetop things over that way. Um, it's oh, not, there's it's, the helix. We're going to do that later on in this video. Well, I'm going to do it rather. Caroline's not. Yeah, Caroline's trying to hide. This is not for Caroline either, Sean. No. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, God. There's Resorts World and Universal. Universal. There's the Battlestar Galactica roller coaster over there. Universal is another activity that we're going to do while we're here, which is a, a Sentosa activity, but that'll get its own video. I hope that's a bird. <laughs> no, it's the. It was skimming for. <laughs> squeaky, squeaky. So we'll have to get oh. off. This is the Sentosa line. We'll have to get off here, I is believe. Is that our hotel? And then get on the next one. No, that's the Oasia. Our hotel's is just behind the Oasia. It? Right there, the little curvy, curvy building. We have to get off here and then change onto the Faber line to do the next part. Wasn't that bad, was it? Down below, we've got Madame Two Swords. Two swords. Two swords. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. Two, Two swords. swords. And that's an activity that we're going to do in this vlog as well when we get there. We're yeah. trying to save the indoor stuff for when it's raining. It's a little bit drizzly right now, which is why we're doing this one. We have now moved over to the Mount Faber line. So to get on this line from the Sentosa line, you swap at Imbia Lookout just across the road. Across the road to do that. And now we're going on the Mount Faber line, which crosses. Whoa the water that's a bit uh, swingy this time i think we'll go through a building and then up the top of the mountain which we're we're going to get out at the top of the mountain and have a little look around even though that's not sentosa but it is something you can do from sentosa view yeah there is universal again we're flying above the trees we're in the hello kitty yeah hello kitty yeah Yes. We're going to go through a building. Yeah. Like a tall building. It has been raining at one point. It's still a warm day. Sean's sweating. But me being me, everything's cold on me. <laughs> Heading back down from Mount Faber Peak to Sentosa to continue our Sentosa day. And I think we're going to do a couple of activities at India Point before we get back on the Sentosa line down to Fort Soloso. It's actually quite hard to get used to it if it's not so bad as when we first got on. Now that the cable car is done, but at MBS station is the Sky Helix, so I think it's the perfect time to do this. You sit there on those seats, circle round and see the sights. You sure you don't want to do it? I'm very sure. You go and enjoy it yourself. I'll just sit and watch the view of you. Okay, you can film me from down below. Okay. Change of plans. We were going to do, well, I was going to do the Helix, have a drink up there, which Caroline's got right there. He's going to have a drink up there, but the, it's been removed from the Go City Pass. So watch out when you're buying that pass, guys. Things can be removed. Uh, so we're going to skip straight to Madame Tussauds instead. Get some aircon, see some wax, wax people. But they have added the luge on, though. They've added the luge on instead. They have. So it, it does change, so just keep an so eye on that. So they take things off and add things on. Yeah. We've grabbed our tickets for Madame Tussauds instead of the Helix, which is no longer on the Go City Pass. Would have cost us 48 Singapore dollars each 
for the bundle that we've got, which is entrance to the museum, the boat ride, and digital photos as well. So let's check this place out. Probably spend about 45 minutes in here, I would think. See, uh, see some wax works. I was going to say wax melts, but that, that would be disturbing. <laughs> They'd look like burn victims. But see some, see some wax works. See who we can recognise. There's going to be loads that we don't, though, from, from um, Asia and Bollywood and things. And I think the first area is, is Bollywood stars. Yeah, try yeah. to get the best out of the past, see if we can do the helix. Let's get some air con. Oh, by the way, we get free um, photographs all the way around, so we can choose different photo stations and get it for free. Fancy some tea? Go down to the water. Get a job. I've got a job. You've got a job. My life's hawa. My life's hawa. I need sleep. Yeah, do you need some sleep? <laughs> On the morning of the 12th of September, 1945, Japanese and Marshall Rivers were doing some ceremony. It's probably the BBC World Service, do you reckon? This Madame Tussauds it's not what I is expected. very different to the other ones we've done. There's very yeah. few wax works and it all seems to be about like history so far. History and the war and stuff. Thrill coaster. Oh. Ooh. Sean's doing the thrill coaster. I think it cost him 12 Singapore dollars, so about seven pounds, I think, for about 10 minutes on the thrill coaster. His options for the coaster was London, Miami or Sydney and he's went for Sydney for a change, something different. Oh, this is weird. I'm going down sideways. <laughs> oh. That's weird. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> Different. Yeah. That was just weird. It didn't feel like a roller coaster at all with little movement. And also, it wasn't the VR wasn't angled right, so it was like sideways onto the track rather than facing forward. So it was just weird. It was like one of those tower coasters. We're just going down on the lift to the next section. You ready for the boat ride? I am. Yeah, well, you better be because we're on it. <laughs> <laughs> on the lion. That's Madame Tussauds done in Singapore. I would not pay $48 for that if I was paying full price, but because it was part of the pass, we've got some value out of it, but yeah. it's definitely not worth $48. We've, it's quite quick. I was gonna say, we've been to how many now? A few. A few and... There's the least amount of waxworks yeah. on this one. There's not many at all, some big some big gaps. If you like, want to know a bit about the history of Singapore, that's, that that's good. That was good, yeah. My, my favorite thing in there probably would have been the four-day marvel. The four-day marvel, which we couldn't film. The boat ride was very quick. Very quick. Yeah, let's find our next activity. Maybe it's something to eat. Sean has found with the GoPass that we can do two motion simulator 4D rides for free. So he's just looking into that now and I think we're going to do that. I'm not sure what they're about, but I'm sure he'll tell you soon. He's just in the queue over there. You can choose any two of the activities out of the four activities and we went for the t uh, two of the simulator rides there's also two a show and a shooting game but we went for the we're going for the two uh, the two simulator rides just like a four day theater thing and that's included in the past so we'll give it a try see if it's worth it 
Oh, there's, there's a also a nature discovery nature trail discovery. that you can do here. Yeah. Find uh, all the animals in the forest. We're doing the Haunted Mine ride and the Extreme Log ride. They take seven minutes each, and it would have been $30.90 if we had bought the tickets. But we're using the Ghost City Pass. Pirate Show is one of the other things that you can do, and there's yeah. also a shooting gallery. We're doing the two rides. We've just done the two rides, the Log Flume and the Haunted Mine Drain. If you're only going to do one of them, do the Mine Drain, not the Log Flume, because they are very, very jerky. It's like a really bad version of Transformers, so it's, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're going to, if it's part of your pass and you get that, you get the Ghost City Pass, use it. And I sat you're just my, buying it to get. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. And I sat in my wheelchair the whole time watching it, so I didn't get any of that bad jerkiness because it probably would have not done me any good with all my aches and pains and things. Yes. Um, We're heading back down to Fort Saloso. On, Salosa. On now. the cable car. Mm. That's what we're going to do next. The Trick Eye Museum is up next. Next up is the Trick Eye Museum, which I think is just going to be lots of photos. So this is another activity included in the Go Pass. We're in the horror room, apparently. He said, are you okay with horror? It's quite scary. But uh, my scares need to be a little bit stronger than what's in here. It was $32 each if you were buying a ticket. And it's basically just like Instagram heaven, I think, in here. Should we head to the next room? How often do you see me on my knees? <laughs> Especially with a bad knee. Anyway, Especially with a bad knee, photo. yeah, watch it. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going very well for your photograph opportunity. How about I just go like this? No, oh. I, don't think that's the, I don't think that's the photo off. No, you're doing it totally wrong, Sean. It is definitely weird and you've got all of the um, pictures to get taken as well with the trickery. That's the Trick Eye Museum done. Not as good as I thought it was going to be. Hmm. If you like Instagram photos, that kind of thing, that's all right. But I was expecting like more funny shaped houses and rooms and houses and things like that. But no, we're going to check out Fort Soloso now, I think. That lift was awful, Sean. Glass. You've got to come up the, to get to the, the trail, you've got to come up the lift and then do the skywalk. You're really testing my fears today. With the height? Really testing it with the height fears. Shall we head over this bridge then? Yeah, just stick us to the middle. Don't take us to the edge. Okay. also was to do with defences back in during the war or something like that or have you do you know any of the history yeah you can't really read the sign because it's <laughs> how was your walk anyway over there it wasn't as bad as what i thought it was going to be because i asked you to go through the middle plus i thought it was a glass bottom no it was a, it seemed safer let's check out the fort i'm bigging out the big guns for you again sean oh, oh god yes I'm so we've just found out that Fort Soloso was built to defend Keppel Harbour and the Straits of Singapore. Nice little free activity to do on Sentosa in nice, well manicured grounds. It's in this A little bit of history. 
They must have kept the guns down there in storage down there. Only six inches, those ones, though. Yeah, only six inches of guns. Yeah. And that's the battery command post up there, which I can't get round anyway. No. I think this is all I can see, babe. The rest is for you to explore. The battery command. Oh. That sounds like flames. Well, we've finished at Fort Soloso and it's been a long warm day so far so we're going to head back to the village hotel and have a little dip in the pool I think to chill out for a little bit and then see Wings of Time later. If we don't see Wings of Time later um, because we might just go for food instead we'll go and see it tomorrow and we'll add that into the things to do in, in Sentosa. That's just us being lazy if we don't go tonight. So we, we might want to spend a little bit more time around the pool and chilling a little bit, yeah. Headed back to the hotel and we're going to pick up a little snack for now and a couple of drinks to take around the pool with us. I think we need to get some of these to take home and try, but fish skin's what we'll give the dog. That'd be more like potato <laughs> chips. Yeah. Yeah. And lots of, oh, there's so many crisps and noodles. Yeah. That's why we I've left never, a little bit of I can't see I've ever heard of Connor Stout Porter. Yeah. There's like a peach polina. Oh, whole garden rather. Polina. Where's this? It's like a Japanese wine. That's I don't think they've got it here. I've just seen it back there, did I not? No. Oh, there it is. This is supposed to be really good. I might have to try one of them. So we're going for a Sapporo for me, a Summers Beside for Caroline. I'm going to give this a try, a Hokkaido. I'm going to give this a try, a Hokkaido cream bun. And a chicken teriyaki mayo onigiri. Now we're just looking at the crisps. And now we're just looking at crisps. Have you seen the... the I've never, ones. I've never Mix, seen... Mushroom crisps. Mushroom. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Um, there's New York burger cut ones. This is what we're choosing. We've come down to the pool area. A fish pond. There's so many fish in here. Yeah. Can you see them though? There's a couple of pools and a lazy river here. Great hotel for family. A little seating area. Yeah. We have found a spot. This is our lounger. We'll chill. The pool bar looks like it's still open, so we'll grab a drink there. And there's the nice pool, which is quite busy. And now we're heading Doors back down. After the doors have closed, we're heading back down to the beach station on the monorail to go and check out Wings of Time. And we also need to find something to eat around there as well. We're not really eating. No, we haven't really been eating very much at all. I mean, the food this morning, we didn't even eat that. We wasted quite a bit, to be honest. But yep. for, for you anyway. We, need, we need water and we need food. And we need entertainment. The three caballeros. You are just minutes away from Sentosa's many exciting island offerings. So we've come for some food before we go and watch the show and I wanted masala soft, masala potato soft tacos but I've ended up with the quesadilla because they didn't have any soft tacos. So this was $8.80 for this and it's actually got some spice to it though. It doesn't say that it's spicy on the actual uh, the board behind. So it's from Taco Pau, which is right next to the entrance gate. Caroline had her little snack there, but there wasn't really anything left for me because all the food stalls were closed. So I might have to get something after the show ends. But we're about to watch for Wings of Time, which is also on the Ghost City Pass. Let's see if it's worthwhile. Silence! Silence! Now. Let's start from the beginning of the song. So, one, two, one, two, three, four. When you're traveling far from home, don't be scared, you're not alone. Find the courage from within you. If you believe dreams can come 
Made it back to the room, and that's our fun day exploring Sentosa. Our first day in Singapore, exploring Sentosa. Some things were good, some things were not so good. I think it, Wings of Time was a good show to end it on. Yeah, it was good. Um, with the mixture of water, um, the fireworks, and the light show, it, it was good. Um, Absolutely. One thing we have observed though about this island, I thought Singapore, you ate later at night, and so, like I thought it was a thing to eat later. But everywhere is closed at like half nine, ten o'clock when you're trying to get some yeah, food. Yeah, that's on Central. Or even earlier, they were they were all closed at like eight o'clock around the the Wings of Time area. Yeah, it seems to be on Central, so we'll have to see when we go into the city. But it's still the same. Yeah. Um. So the Wings of Time, how much would that have been if we'd bought 13, it? Thirteen dollars a piece. I think that's worth the money, definitely for a twenty minute show. So out of everything we've done today, um, that we we're, we're gonna do. What would would we have spent? Don't know. I can't add all up all out of them yet. <laughs> all all the prices are on the screen. Do you think it's worth it so far? What coming to Singapore? Absolutely. <laughs> no, the go past whatever it's called. We'll find out. We've got some uh, bigger ticket items to to come as well. But um, early impressions are may, maybe not. We'll we'll find out as we go for the the go city pass. But I have to say, on the whole, in terms of for me, for disability wise, it's been brilliant. Yeah. We just had a little weird thing happen today with a bus, but yeah, overall, it's been brilliant. Much I have to say, it puts the UK and the US to shame. Absolutely, and on that bombshell, <laughs> uh, we're going to end this Things to Do in Sentosa video. We're going to have a little drink in the room and chill out, and then we'll see you in the next one, which is going to be Universal Studios. On my birthday, tomorrow. <laughs> I'm 45. <laughs> Keep making memories. Catch you later. <laughs>